I apologize to everybody who made their way here. I do not have an actual written or prepared statement, uh, but I am the president and founder of the MSD Improv Club, so hopefully I get something in. Uh, <laughs> Brian, what's your, what's your last name again? Deitch. Ryan Deitch. D-E-I-T-S-C-H. I'm uh, what, what can I say? What, what can I say that everyone else hasn't already put so eloquently, that all my fellow students have surprised me with? For the longest time, I've only perceived Douglas as a school of just entitled children and those who jewel. And now I'm, I'm left thinking that these are powerful speakers. These are, th this is the future. I've seen before me, my friends, people that I've known since even third grade have been standing next to me and have been speaking out against what is wrong. And what is wrong is that the life of innocence is being taken day after day after day. And it does not matter what we say. It does not matter how many people die. P the legislature, those in power, have not taken action. They've been using their words. They've used political double talk as much as they can. And it's not a weapon that I want them to be able to use anymore. They can walk around any question they want, but the more they don't act, the more they don't deserve to be in office. The more that I know, me and my friends, we, we are turning 18. I am a senior. I'm 18 myself now. I can vote, and I know who I'm not voting for. These people that I've been meeting with, these people that I've seen, none of them have really put it into words what needs to be done. And I will say that I am a high school senior. I do not know the exact course of action to take. I do not know exactly what needs to be done. I just know what we're doing now is nowhere near enough. If I have to keep seeing neighbors die, if I have to keep seeing friends die, and I have to keep seeing other people on the news deal with this same tragedy, they do not deserve this. America does not deserve this. Humanity does not deserve this. And I'd just like to go into uh, saying that we, that overall the media is doing their job, and I appreciate it. But I'd like to say that during the time where we are going to funerals, where people are grieving, I know for a fact that yesterday I walked out of Carmen Centrop's funeral early because I cannot handle that type of grieving. I cannot handle being in there mourning over the loss of somebody that I have known for at least the past six years. And I'd just like to say that when I see a camera tracking me as I cry walking out of a church, that is not acceptable. That is just, that popularizes the idea that if these killers are out there, if they have these guns, they will use them to get on some leaderboard. I saw this the next morning after the shooting. There was a top 10 shootings in America, and we were at number nine, I believe. There should not be some rating score. You should not be able to put in a name at the end of that to say that I'm the one who shot up 19, I'm the one who shot 23, well, I shot 50. These people are looking for infamy. These people are going out there, getting attention, and America should not stand for that. I'd also just like to say, uh, Overall, me and my friends, they, they have really shown me what we can do. They've shown me that everyone who's come out today, they are listening, that people are listening to this. And I am so happy to see that people are listening, but they need to act, and we need to act. And I know we have the school walkouts already being planned. We have the March on Washington, March 24th. But I fear, after talking to representatives today, that that is not enough. That one trip to Tallahassee I knew was not going to be enough, but I don't know how many times I'm going to be having to come up here to just speak to have somebody to listen to me. I know I've been walking into office after office after office, and I've maybe only spoken to three representatives, two of which already agreed with me. I want to see those people who have spoken out against this. I want to see those people who shot down that bill, who did not let it get past committee. I want to see those people. I'm not here for a fight. I'm not here to argue with you. I just want to speak. I just want to see your face and know why. And thank, thank you so much for this opportunity. 
I'd like to introduce Alfonso.